I mean, at the beginning, people were like, "Are you guys crazy?" Our family were um, pretty scared. Scared. <laughs> you can say that. So I'm Pam. My name is Andy, and this is Kalia. We're Pandelia. And we have traveled the world over the past five years in this customized Vanacon Synchro. Basically, it started with a dream to travel the world for a couple of years. Once you gotta find your dream vehicle and build it up, the other part is getting enough money together. It took us several years to uh, get to a point where we were confident enough to leave home for a couple of years. At the same time, uh, we were building up the van, uh, saving money at the same time. Uh, made a lot of sacrifices as well. I mean, uh, we sold all our cars. We moved into a cheaper apartment. Uh, we didn't go on any vacation at all. We just stayed home and saved up. And then we were shipping the van in a container from Switzerland over to Argentina in South America. We picked up the van a couple days later. Everything worked fine. And then we took off. We just had planned to travel the Pan American Highway from Argentina to Alaska. So the west coast? And all the way up the west coast basically from south to north. Uh, and then decided at some point, uh, I think we wanted to see all of it. Not just uh, the west coast. So we were going over to the east side in South America. We saw Uruguay and Brazil which was beautiful and amazing people. Uh, we had challenges at the beginning, a lot of them. Uh, language is one, of course, it's obvious. I'm Italian, so it was a little bit easier for me to, with Italian to go to Spanish. So I, I understood Spanish, but I had difficulty to speak. And even the infrastructure was very different. Very from different. Back home. So I think at the shock at the beginning was pretty big. Yeah. Re literally, we were just leaving and let's do it because we felt like as more as you read into it, as more as you get scared and it will change you even before started the trip. And that's what we didn't want it to. So we were exploring South America for a year. Uh, we have been all over it. Then we finally got to Colombia mm -hmm. where we had to ship the van again through the Daring Gap. Then we continued traveling through Central America. Exactly. In April 2016, we first uh, entered into the US which was a big deal for us. By now, I think we spent over two years in the, in the United States, traveling around west, like east, Northern. Alaska as well. Uh, same with Canada. Yeah. And then after three years, we finally uh, made, made it. it to Alaska and officially finished the Pan American Highway. Um, and now, uh, two years later, we got five years and we were all over the Americas. It's crazy. As you can see, we have a little different interior here. Not only it's all orange, uh, but it's also customized um, from the bottom. Our friend Thomas did that back home before we took off and uh, we think it, he did an amazing job. And material is laminated wood. Uh, you can actually get them in, in all sorts of colors. Can be blue, can be gray. We like the orange. Uh, so it gives a little more color to the white van. So a lot of, lot of storage. Uh, here as well, so I have all my tools down below. Everything is lifted up a little bit, uh, gives, mm. gives a little more space. Uh, even all the upholstery, they redid it, everything, so uh, that's all completely redone. Uh, same with the driver's seat and the passenger seat. Uh, we barely plug in the van. Um, you know, we usually are trying to use the sunlight for everything, solar, shower. What we have here is chair compartment uh, and the same here again. That's just a good spot for us to have them out of the way. Uh, we feel like they're in the way all the time other than that, so... Wow, my orange kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we do, we do have everything inside, just smaller. So we have a sink, two burners, here we have our compressor fridge. Inside we have like more storage, more cabinets. So I have more stuff to <laughs> put in. <laughs> so more storage, even up here. Yeah, of course it's everything it's foldable. 
so yeah. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. take so much space. <laughs> table. Not the same system, all the table system inside and outside. So that black piece you see over there. So we got the same table inside and outside. Down here we have some more space. Then we have two cabinets down here as well. On this side we have like the the battery. battery. So uh, one is, uh, is 100 watt, so we got 200 watt on the top, and a foldable one uh, which is 80 watt. Uh, we could move with the sun. I think it makes a, a big difference having a good suspension kit for a trip like this, especially down the border. So uh, we got two additional gasoline tanks underneath. It's, it's 65 liters a tank. You know, you count it twice plus the stock gasoline tank and we, were, we would be able to carry 50 gallons or 200 liters if we have to. So this bottom in the middle over here is basically to activate the tank system. So what happens when I pull that, you can hear a little noise. So it's a separate full pump which pumps from uh, the additional gasoline tanks to full into the main tank. What we have here is an uh, additional locker basically this and when you got it closed there is no way you can uh, get it open. As you can see we got some diamond plate all over the van. Um, I gotta say uh, the pre-owner installed all of those. Uh, what we did when we bought the van we took them all off to see if there is any rust in behind. Uh, there was none so we put them back together and uh, simply used them uh, you know uh, to protect parts of the van at least and we like the look honestly <laughs> living, in, living in the van means freedom to us uh, we can go to places we have our house with us and Pam and I are you know we were leaving home to explore the world so we wanted to see places so that was like priority we like to explore places and learn about cultures and learn languages. So I always feel like the most difficult part is to, um, to quit, to take off, to leave everything. Sometimes you just have to let go and follow your dreams. Yeah, and that's exactly what we did. Uh, we'll see where uh, the next uh, adventure will take us, so stay tuned everybody.